Hi everyone! Early Merry Christmas and welcome to my Christmas binder stuff in. So I have a little bit of extra money set aside this week to put in just to our Christmas binder. So yeah, just wanted to make it a little bit feeling a little bit Christmassy and yeah, so I'm super, super excited. Um, yeah, so come stuff my Christmas binder with me. And also leave in the comments as well what your favorite thing about Christmas is. So obviously I love the time off work, but the biggest thing that I love, because I never used to have that up until a couple of years ago, is, is time with family, I love watching their faces when they open the presents. I love the lead up. So for, from December to, um, oh, really as early lead up as I can get, if I'm frank. <laughs> um, so yeah, probably from November, cause my son's birthday is in about three or four weeks at the end of October. So once that's over with and Halloween's over with, it's all Christmas for me from then on. So we, yeah, love to do everything as a family, lights. I mean, how I, I can't be sad around Christmas though. And I know there's so many bad things that can happen that have happened to people around that time of year. Uh, luckily it hasn't for us. So I will make the most of every November, December, uh, forever. I absolutely love, love Christmas and just how, I don't know, just merry it makes you feel and the lights that you see. And I hope one day I do want to have a white Christmas one day because it is summer, our summer holiday break uh, over the Christmas period. So I did get this new Christmas binder um, a few videos ago. And yeah, I love it. So it's a beautiful red color. And we have these individual I, I decided to do a Christmas binder one because I knew it would make me super happy uh, stuff in it and two it means that I'm only stuffing for every single thing in here it's not like a bill it's just something exciting for me to stuff for so yeah and I look I do go overboard with buying presents I do go on the big sales in big W and buy lots of toys and things like that so um, I haven't done that this year, which is really, really strange since I've actually had the money to do it. But yeah, I, yeah, I just love it. But what we have to stuff in this today, so we have $100 in 50s, 22, 4, 6, 8, 10. So we have $200, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. So $250 we have. Nice, beautiful new notes to stuff into our Christmas binder. Now, these first two $50 notes here. Now, oh, the other thing I haven't done is I will be putting in an envelope at the back, um, which I was always going to do. And I'm going to use that for, because uh, I've got a couple of Christmas challenges and I've had for a while. Um, and I have seen some beautiful uh, scratch off ones around. And look, anything, I might even get like a Christmas um a Christmas, say, like an A5 uh, savings challenge book or something like that. Just, to, you know, the more Christmas pictures that I can have in front of me, the more, you know, exciting I get about Christmas. So uh, I'll probably get an envelope at the back there or a separate binder or something. I'm not too sure. Um, but then, but essentially, though, these are the hard categories that we need to save for. Now, A presents, I'll put the presents for the kids at the front because obviously that's really the biggest part of it. Um, so my daughter's presents, uh, I will be adding $50 into that and we do need to start thinking about and getting some stuff uh, now really to me. So she has in there one, two, three, four, five, six hundred, six fifty, six seventy, six ninety, seven. Oh, Oh, there's an AA, $700 in there. So she has $700 for her presents currently. I'll need to add a few more hundred into that and I'll try and cap myself this year at a thousand. Uh, but I'm, uh, if I see something, I'm going to get it no matter what. So, um, yeah, but look, let's just have that as a budget and I'm sure as they get older, that'll be like one or two presents. So we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. So my son will add 50 into his as well. 
Of course, I always spend the same on both of the kids, no matter what. One, two, three, four, five, six, six fifty, six seventy, six ninety, and seven hundred. So they both have seven hundred, which is a good good chunk. I did calculate this whole binder around four thousand dollars would be the goal to have all of that exactly as I'd want it. Now, what we've got here, so we've got here $100 and $50. So, kind of a bit of a random distribution today. You and me, I'm going to add in 20. This is for my husband and I's presents. We'll probably only spend, so I say, $100 on each other, but then it ends up being a lot more. So, 20, 40, 60. So, I've got 60 in there at the moment. Um... Then we've got family gifts. I have already got a fair few of those. So, hmm, let's just put a 10 in. So that leaves 50 in there at the moment. Uh, friends gifts, I'm going to put in a 10. So that leaves $30 in there for friends gifts. Tree decor. So we have a tradition that we go to David Jones every year. Uh, that now has 70 and we pick a really nice ornament each uh, from there that we will keep. Um, but actually what I love most about the tree, and we did buy a beautiful Balsam Hill tree last year, as well as some really nice, um, uh, what do you call it? I don't know what it's called. But you put it on the um, sideboard at home and it's got all lights in it and oh, it's really, really beautiful. Um, yeah, which is a great tree. It's a pre-lit tree with coloured and clear lights. And yeah, the memories of the ornaments that they've made in school from prep and things like that. Honestly, they're my favourite. Um, tree decor now we have um, $60, $70. Home decor, I'm going to leave it 50 at the moment because we do have a fair bit of home decorations as already. Lights, I'm going to put in a 20 so we have 120 dollars in lights lights are expensive but yeah they they make it so christmasy i love it now december first box so we'll, i'll put in a 20 dollars into that uh they cost a bit i basically buy them december first you know all these activities for us to do at christmas pajamas and slippers and um little antlers and um coloring in books make a gingerbread house uh, their event, advent calendars, they all get them then. Um, so yeah, there's a lot of fun that to me, then Christmas lasts then the whole month. Uh, Santa photos, I'll put in a 10 for that one. Uh, I think we need, I think they're like 70 or 80 dollars for the deluxe package. Uh, dining out, um, I'll put in a 10. So that will then have 30. Gift wrap, uh, put in a five. I'm going to put in a 20 because I would like making them look really pretty there under the tree. Nibbles, let's pop in a, let's pop in the 20 in nibbles. Drinks, uh, look, I can't drink a lot with the medication that I'm on. So let's just put it into food. <laughs> uh, and then the other category we have is drinks and then buffer as well. So they're my categories that I have. I probably could put in a couple of others, but that is, that's enough. That's the main lot of them. So that is my Christmas binder. And I will be adding some challenges and some scratch-offs and some other fun ways to save for Christmas. And yeah, we'll, I'll do it in a separate video because then we can just, everyone who loves Christmas can just comment about how much they love it, what they love about it. Uh, any questions about anything yet, yeah, please let me know. And I love the chit chat back and forth. And if you don't like that chit chat, then I guess skip this video and go watch my next cash stuff in. So thank you so much for your time. Um, hope you like that little background Christmas music and my little ornaments and candle. Actually, speaking of candle, I did buy a, uh, uh, um, pine scented candle last year and oh, it was the best so I'm going to be getting one of those and I'll use that in my videos as well thank you so much for watching thank you for subscribing push that bell notification and then see all my new videos coming in soon and yeah I'll talk to you guys soon take it easy bye